All right, so um, as uh, you might have probably heard, this is not a tutorial of jQuery because that is the language we need to achieve the effect. It's just uh, on how you can use that effect and how you can uh, get the most out of it. So let's just see how the effect works. You just click on a random text. This, uh, this is a random text enclosed within the anchor tags. So it can be a box for any case. I click on it and I'm smoothly scrolling to this black box. So what I want now is I want to know how do I do it. Firstly, um, you want to go ahead to this website, We3Schools. It's a fabulous website, must see. And there's this page, I'll probably link it in the description. And you have to copy this code. Just bear with me. I told you this is not a tutorial. Just bear with me for now. So I have all this code. I'm going to tell you what to do with it. So let's open up the code for this. So to start off, obviously, I did copy the code. But here's what I did. Um, firstly, since I, did, I was not working with the code, I deleted all the comments here. Since they, they're not read by the browser, so it doesn't matter what they do. And I have to copy from going from script to script, this whole part, including the, the source of Ajax jQuery. So this part starting from here to here, um, right here, I want to copy and paste in my head tag. Okay, that I want to do. So I have all this, I want to go ahead and paste it in my head tag. There you see, right here and right here. And as you can see, I have deleted all the comments since I'm not working with the code. Now, once you've done that, everything else is simple, plain HTML coding. So what I did firstly, I opened an anchor tag gave it an href of uh, section 2, more on that later, and gave it a simple text of smooth scroll. Okay, that bit, that bit is easy. Now, what I did was that I went ahead and created a div right here. That div had a class for basic styling, okay? And up next, what I did was that I went ahead and gave, gave it an ID of section 2. So what that did was that whenever I click on my smooth scroll button, it would lead me to section 2. And that's all I have to do right here. So once I've done that, I give it an ID, some basic styling, done. Uh, everything is set to go. So this is my section to div, you see here. And this is the text that I have created using the anchor tag. So click on it, boom, simple scrolling works. However, however, in case if you're wondering what happens if we do not use this jQuery, then let me just show you. I'm going to delete the jQuery. Okay, and I'm going to save it and reload. Okay, so now as soon as I click on it, it does lead me to the box, but the fact remains that it doesn't work the way I want it to, obviously, and there's no smooth scrolling. Like we saw right here, there's no smooth scrolling like that. It's simple click and move. So in order to achieve that smooth scrolling effect, you can simply go ahead and use the jQuery code. I'll source it in the description. And in case you just want it to be like click and bam onto the point, then you can simply go ahead and give an ID to your point Okay, and make sure that this href is linked to that ID. So href equals to suppose the ID is section 2. This becomes href equals section 2. And that's all you have to do. So thank you for watching. Uh, have a nice day. And obviously, before I end the video, I'm going to show you a bit of how I use this effect. Um, you can see it in this page right here. So I created this page uh, just for just wanted to see what else I can do. So I created this page. Um, you see there's these three bars as soon as I click on them this pops up. So suppose I want to click on any one of these. I click on here. Smooth scrolling leads me right here. So that's how I went ahead using this effect. Well, the sky's the limit. Use your imagination. And that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.